Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ford here. In this video, we're going to look at some of the effects that you can use in your Soundtrap projects. An audio or sound effect is something that is added to a recording and it is meant to enhance or shape the way that the recording sounds. Common effects include reverb, compression, EQ, and distortion. Now, some of these effects can get pretty complicated, but many of them are easy and fun to use right away. So in this video, we're going to look at a few of these and see how they can shape the sounds that we hear in our project. Let's get started. First, I have the single vocal line. It's something I recorded with the microphone, and it sounds like this. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's see. And it keeps repeating. In fact, I have it on loop so it'll never stop. And that's helpful because we'll want to hear ones with an effect and ones without the effect. Now, if you click on this picture all the way to the left, since I used a microphone, it's a picture of a microphone. When I click on this circle, you get this window that pops up. And we've seen this window. This is how you would record some audio. But I want to point your attention above where you see these three knobs that you can turn to the left or the right. This first one is labeled reverb, the next one pan, and the last one volume. Volume, I think we know, that decides how loud or soft something is. Pan has to do with whether the sound is going to come out of your left ear or in your right ear. Now, if you're wearing headphones, this will be really clear because you can tell everything is coming out one side or the other. Usually, we want to leave it somewhere in the middle so it comes out of both ears. Our first effect is reverb. And this is one of the most commonly used effects out there. And in fact, it's so common, they place it up here just so it's really easy to access. Now, to understand what reverb is, I want you to think about an echo. If I were to say, hello, and include one echo, it would be, hello, hello. If I were to give it, let's say, three echoes, I would have, hello, 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 hello. But now, if I had an infinite number of echoes, so too many to count, and I placed them all right next to each other, I would get, hello. That is reverb. If you were to sing in a giant open space like a cathedral or a palace, your voice would have a lot of reverb. If, however, you sang in a coat closet or something, you would have no reverb. The amount of reverb gives us the illusion of space where we are singing and how big that place is. So I'm gonna start with a reverb all the way down so we have no reverb, and then I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear what happens when we add it to the signal. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's So that's reverb. Now I want to add some other effects, some that aren't up here. And on Soundtrap, the way you do that, you go to this button where it says Add Effects. I wanted to look at this box here and the word Add Effect. When I click it, it gives me all of my options for effects. And as you can see, there are a real lot of them. The effect I want to look at is called Distortion. Distortion is a really gritty and rough sound. We hear this a lot in rock music, particularly with a guitar. The first three effects are all variations of this gritty sound. The first one, classic distortion. They just abbreviate dist for distortion. Fuzz and overdrive. And to get a sense of what it does, you can hit this play button. I'm going to click Classic Distortion for this. Now, I've added it in my effects window, and it has two knobs that I can use to adjust this effect. So the first one will decide how much distortion I place on it, and tone usually has to do with how many high or low frequencies we hear. It'll make more sense when we actually hear it, and you'll, you'll hear how it changes. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. 
So you get the idea. If you want to use this effect, you might want to play with both of those knobs to get a real clear sense of what it does and what sounds you want. I'm going to get rid of it for a moment so we can hear another effect. So I'm going to do that by hitting X. I'm going to click Add Effect. And the next effect I want to look at is called Wah. Now they, they called it Auto Wah. Let's play and hear what it does. <laughs> That's a cool sound. So I'm going to click on that. And again, it gives me two knobs that I can use to make adjustments to this effect. I have Rate and I have Mix. Mix is similar to the distortion knob on the, the, on the last effect, so it tells how much of this effect I want to use. But Rate, because this is like a wobbly sound, the Rate will tell me how fast that wobble is. This would be a wah, 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 while this is going to be wah, 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 really fast. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's see how effects can change this song. Whoa. Let's see how effects can change this song. So you see, again, you can play with those knobs to get the effect that you really want on, on your song. This week, I would like you to complete the quiz in Google Classroom to let me know you understand some of the effects we heard in this video, but also, I would like you to practice adding effects to your Soundtrap projects. There are so many from which you can choose, and they all come with their own little knobs that you can use to adjust that effect. I hope you have fun, and I can't wait to hear what you come up with.